Once you're done editing your quiz and ready to take a look at it from the student's perspective, you can come up and click on the preview button. And then you'll be thrown into the quiz as if you were a student taking it. You'll notice that your quiz instructions are at the top. Over on the right is a small menu box with the word questions and it shows you which question you're on. It tells you your elapsed time if you need to see it and what time it is due. So my first question, Canvas is free for teachers at canvas.instructure.com, has a link in it. I can click on that link if I want to open that page. And it prompts me to sign in. And then I can answer my uh, question with true or false. And that is true. So I'll click next. Now on question two, it's a multiple choice. It's also worth one point. What company invented Canvas? We know the correct answer is in structure, but I'll put Yahoo just to show you what it looks like when you get it wrong. And then number three, the easiest way to invite students by, to a course is by Let's try email, fill in the blank, type in my answer, click next. Another fill in the blank question four is an essay question. Share one way you will use Canvas in your online class. So type in my answer, I've got my WYSIWYG editor if I want to add any pictures or video. Um, I have one more question left, as you can see, now I'm on to question five. Here's a multiple drop down. Canvas is an LMS that is available entirely online. When I'm finished I click submit quiz and I get my um, current score, the time it took me. I got three out of five. Notice that there's an asterisk because some questions still need to be graded. So I can preview the quiz again. I can keep editing. And if I go to speed grader you'll notice that there are no active students, so the quiz that I just took did not go into SpeedGrader. It was only a preview.